when I was went to a student company this past weekend, someone was passing out flyers at his work, and then um, read his bio and I saw all the accolades at the league, and I was kind of like really mesmerized. So I'm even more taken with seeing it in person as opposed to a little postcard and seeing all of the references to all of the people in the long storied career of the Grateful Dead. Captures the history of one of the iconic bands in the U.S. Robert has a way to transcend the art world. Non-traditional, captivates the imagination, very unique. The painting was made because I commissioned him for the painting and asked him that uh, would he paint the painting for me, uh, the history of the Grateful Dead. You know, I kept sending him books, sending him documentaries, sending him music of the Grateful Dead, and this went on for months. And then finally, in the end of July, uh, early August, he finally said, okay, I'll do it. And he said, you know, because he said, I really don't know him that well. I know the music a little bit, but I don't know enough. But now I know the history, and I, and I really like the band, and very Americana. After he started painting it in uh, July, uh, I didn't see the painting at all until around October when I took him to two concerts at Madison Square Garden to go see the Grateful Dead for the first time. So, uh, 80 years old, he's a scotch drinker, wine drinker, and uh, the next thing you know, uh, he's smoking, the uh, first time he's ever smoked marijuana. So, and he loved it, you know, he had a great time, he enjoyed the show, he loved the community. You know, the dead community is a very strong community. Then we went to the West Coast, because I thought he'd want the West Coast flavor. We had a great time in San Francisco, he came back and Saturday, uh, Friday, and he came back on Saturday, he was in the studio, started painting right away, and continued to paint um, till March 12th, when COVID came in and hit really hard, and they shut the city down. And then he finished the rest of the painting in, uh, over our next nine months up in uh, Hancock, Maine. He said it was the only painting he ever really painted that he couldn't wait to get into the studio and paint. And, uh, and that was something for him, he said. He said, you know, it was just something about the painting. I studied with Bob Sandella for about 10 years at the Art Students League. And he's an amazing artist, an amazing instructor. He's also now a deadhead like me. Now I'm just overwhelmed by this painting. It's just incredible. Painting is, is just a great tribute. I have seen his paintings so many times, but this is something extraordinary. I should say a great nod to the music that will live forever. <laughs>